Only two teams remain unbeaten with a 100% record at the top of La Liga heading into match number three. And it's not Barcelona, it's not Madrid. Who is it? I'll tell you next. Right, folks, back once again with another prediction video today. We're looking forward to match number three over in La Liga. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you do, wave in. Smash your subscribe button and give you a banger today with all things La Liga related, Blabber Rovers related, world football related. We got it all here under one Ruski. That's right. Real Madrid, Barcelona are in third and fourth, respectively. But of course, sitting at the top of the table, it is Sevilla and of course, champions Atletico Madrid. And of course, a very, very lively, exciting start to La Liga season. And then Lionel Messi looks era. Of course, we've got to remind you of that. Of course, this is, of course, a chance for the new boys, the new generation, your Pedris, your Fatis to shine, of course, in Barcelona, and of course, some other guys from wherever. But of course, we'll take a look at all of that, and it's just a second. A big, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the Patreons. Do appreciate the love. Thank you for your support. Of course, my brothers from another mar, my best friends, my, my best friends for life. Check out the link down below if you want to become a latest Patreon member. Of course, from as little to as much as you like. Check it all out. Uh, of course, uh, Let's get cracking. Let's have a look at it then, shall we? Of course, match number two. Recap, of course, the results. Uh, Bilbao against Barcelona end up all square in the end. They, are, they can be proved. They can be a difficult wicket to play against uh, Bilbao. 1-1 uh, in the end. I won with a two-win myself on this. Of course, but Atletico Madrid against Elche. One away for the champ. That should be bloody yellow. We're going to just remember that. That should be yellow. 1-0 uh, win for uh, Atletico. I won with a three-win myself. Betis against Cadiz was a 1-1 draw in the end. I actually went with a one near win myself for Betis, so shame on shame on them, really. Also, soon against Celta Vigo. Well, well, we lost. Also, soon against Celta Vigo, it was a 0-0 draw in the end. 2-1 uh, win for me. Meanwhile, Alaves against Mallorca was a 1-0 win for Mallorca. I went with a 0-0 myself. Espanyol did, uh, did pick up a draw against Villarreal. 0-0 on that one. A lot of draws knocking around. Uh, yeah, went with uh, went with Villarreal myself. Getafe against Sevilla was a 1-0 win for Sevilla. Went with a 2-0 win myself. Granada against Valencia was a 1-1 draw. Went with a 2-1 win for for Valencia myself on that one. Sossi that did beat Velicano 1-0, one with a 2 to win myself on that one. And then finally, Levante against Madrid. Six goal thriller. Goodness gracious me. Uh, so I got myself three. Remember that top one up there, the Madrid one. So I got myself three out of ten, which is pretty shit. Uh, look at the table as it stands right here right now. Of course, Sevilla literally the top of the charge. On goal difference, I've looked at Madrid. Our second, of course, Real Madrid, Barcelona. Keeping up the heat. Uh, Mallorca, Valencia also doing very, very well as well into the top six. At the bottom is Velicano, Alaves and Getafe going down. They could very well be in that situation at the end of it. But of course, this is the situation for this week and this week alone. Uh, Winky up there, of course City pretty with 8 out of 10, not too shabby Bianca Villas up there as well, Liam 2000 and Andrew Barrett as well, but that's of course for last week this week is of course, this is what we're looking at, this is the grand scheme of things, Mr Austin and Winky lead the charge, 13 out of a respectable 20, not too shabby of course, we're going to go into match number 3 now, which of course will be out of 30, so see who's up there at the end of it, just making sure we haven't got no uh, double namers of course, uh, yeah, no double namers, uh, there might be, I, I think I can see one, but I can't, uh, but anyway Regardless of all that, that's the situation at the top of the table for the time being. Of course, you want to get involved for match number three. Here you go. It is Cutley forward slash La Liga number three. And again, when we come back from the international break, we'll have a static link, which will be Cutley forward slash Spain or forward slash La Liga or forward slash I Love Soda or something like that. I don't know. It'll be something something unique uh, that, of course, we will uh, we will use for here on in. Let's get going then, shall we? Because they ain't mocking about. We're going to jump straight to the deep end. Of course, match number three. Kick it all off with Atletico Madrid. No, we're not. Yes, we are. We're going to go Atletico Madrid up against Villarreal. This match takes place on Sunday. Of course, I'm coming at you a bit of a wild order here. Those are the 40 times. This is a big game, this one. Uh, 40 times is 998. 14 wins for Atletico Madrid. 15 wins for Villarreal. Ooh, good evening, good evening. Played each other 11, uh, 11 draws as well. The biggest win for either two sides over each other was a 3-0 win. Uh, of course, uh, last time I played each other in uh, Atletico was a 0-0 draw. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, Villarreal have gone a long time since they last beat Atletico. Uh, Got to go back to 2018 in Villarreal with a 2-1 win. Is that the Wanda Metropolitano? That's, of course, what the name is for, uh, for Atletico Stadium these days. Uh, of course, heading into this, of course, Atletico, so far, so good. Back-to-back -back wins. Uh, opening day win against Salavigo, Vigo, followed up with a win against Elche. Meanwhile, Villarreal, back-to-back 0-0 draws, yet to score a bloody goal, of course, uh, following on for that Super Liga, Super Cup loss against Chelsea. Uh, of course, the table shows Atletico in second, Villarreal, 30. Book his odds on this one we have. Uh, what do we have on this one? We have 5-4 on Atletico, 23-10 is draw for 
Madrid to four is your Villarreal. I'm going to go with Madrid on this one. Two one win. Not big, not impressive, but just enough to get over the line. Next up, we have Real Betis up against uh, Real Madrid on this one. Also on August the 28th, big day in this house. That's right, 51 times they've played each other since 1995. 11 wins for Real Betis, 25 wins for Real Madrid. That's right. Of course, Carlos Ancelotti up against Manuel Pellegrini. Of course, former Premier League managers locking horns. Uh, the biggest win for Betis over Real Madrid. Two to win. The biggest win there was a six one win. Last time, pressure in Betis was a three two win. Five goals for the go in favour of Madrid. Uh, Real Betis actually just uh, not too shabby against them. Uh, to be fair, just one loss in the past five games against Real Madrid, both home and away. Uh, that's right, not too shabby that one. Better score start off back to back draws. Meanwhile, Real Madrid unbeaten so far, uh, scoring seven goals in the course of uh, just two matches. Uh, Bale's got himself up, up and running, as has Karim Benzema. Vicious students, though, is the top goal scorer with three. Uh, Winamini has got himself a couple of goals as well for Real Betis. Heading into this course, Real Madrid are in third. Better stamp to ninth at the moment. Uh, Bookies odds on this one. We have 60 to 5 is your home win, 40 to 5 is your, uh, your draw, 4 to 3 on is your Real Madrid. Going to go with a 2 1 win for Madrid on this one again, make it another win, and of course, move the chains. Uh, Celta Vigo against Athletic Bilbao, of course, locking horns also on August the 28th at the Municipal de Palcios. Pleasure of the 48 times since 1993, 11 wins for Celta Vigo, 21 wins for Bilbao, and 16 draws. The biggest win for Vigo over Bilbao was a 6 1 win, the biggest win the other way it was a 4 day win. Last time, pleasure, of course, in uh, in Celta Vigo was a 0 0 draw uh, back in March 2021. Last time that Bilbao picked up a win, that was a, a, a a 3 1 win in Bilbao uh, back in May 2019. Of course, Bilbao started off with back to back draws, uh, one against Barcelona and one against Elche. Uh, meanwhile, Celta Vigo uh, coming into this uh, without uh, without uh, without, uh, without a win, just uh, of course, a 0 0 draw against Osasuna last time around. Of course, heading into this, of course, uh, Bilbao are down to 11th, Celta Vigo is 16th in the table at the moment. Uh, we have 7 5 for Celta Vigo, 11 5 is your 2 1 is your bloody away win. That is uh, Bilbao on this. I'm going to go with a 1 0 win for the hosts. Celta Vigo, take it out. Uh, next, of course, Barcelona against Get Tafe, that's right. Of course, taking place on Sunday, August the 29th as well. Uh, these two side pressure, 36 times 2004, uh, 26 wins for Barcelona, four wins for Getafe, and six draws. The biggest win for Barcelona over Getafe was a 6 0 win. The biggest win the other way was a 4 0 win. Last time pressure in the Camp Nou uh, was back in, uh, in in April 2021, seven goals for Liga in favour of Barcelona. However, uh, Getafe did pick up a win against Barcelona last season in Getafe last time around. Of course, Barcelona started off with a 4 2 win against Sociedad, followed that with a draw against Bilbao. Meanwhile, uh, Getafe yet to get going. Back to back 1 0 losses, yet to score a goal. A look at the situation on the table, but Barcelona are up to 4th, or down to 4th. Uh, Getafe are down to 18th. Uh, no points on the board for them so far. Bookies are 5 2 1 is your Barcelona, 40 to 50 to 4 is your draw, 6 to 1 is your long shots. That's Getafe. 2 0 2 win for me, Barcelona. Take it to the house at home as well. Cadiz up against Osasuna. Let's get into this one. Also on Sunday, August. The 29th. They played each other, according to my brain, 11 times in 2003. Two wins to Cadiz. Eight wins to Osasuna. One draw. The biggest win on uh, for Cadiz over Osasuna was a 1 0 win. The biggest win the other way was a 2 0 win. That's right. Of course, heading into this, the plus the pleasure in Cadiz was a 2 0 win for Osasuna. You've got to go back. You've got to go way, way back uh, to uh, 2017 for Cadiz's last win over Osasuna. It was in the Copa del Rey. Um, yeah, so I had a look at that one. Of course, Cadiz so far, they've started off back to back draws for them, picking up a draw against Levante and then a draw against Real Betis. Meanwhile, Osasuna also back to back draws, back to back nil nil draws. Of course, both sides come into this with two points on the offering. Ninth place, Cadiz up against 30 place, Osasuna. Uh, Bookies odds on this one, we have 21 to 10 is your opener, your home win, 2 to 1 is your draw, 29 to 20 your win. It is very, very tight across the board, and I can't win another draw. 1 1 in the end. Elche up against Sevilla. Of course, Sevilla are leading the charge, uh, looking to make it three wins on the bounce. I think the lock on also on August the 28th, of course. Play sure the 10 times in 997. One win for Elche, six wins for Sevilla, three draws. The, the biggest win for Elche, or the only win, was a 2 win. The biggest win the other way was a 3 0 win, going in favour of Sevilla. Jolin Lepetegli up against Fran Escriba, of course. Play sure the last, last time around at Elche was a 2 1 win for Elche. Wow, wow, we well, of course, last time around. Uh, however, they've only won once of the past uh, four games against them. Of course, Sevilla have actually won four times in the past five, and the only hiccup was the last time they played each other in Elche. Heading into this, of course, Elche are in. Uh, 17th, of course, to be our top of the pops at the moment with six points on the offering. Have they conceded a goal? I don't think they've conceded a goal so far, uh, Sevilla. Yeah, back to back clean sheets, of course, looking very, very good at the moment. The bookies odds on this one, we have 17 to 4 for your hosts, 13 to 5 is your draw, 10 to 7 on is your Sevilla. They are your favourites, and that's why I'm going with another clean sheet, 2 0 win to boot. And then Valencia taking on Alaves, that's on Friday, August the 27th. Of course, all eyes on this one, perhaps. I'm pretty sure the 24 times is 998, 23 wins, uh, 13 wins for Valencia, 4 wins for Alaves, and 7 draws. The biggest win for Valencia. 
of Alaves was a 4 a 5 nil win. The biggest win there was a 2 nil win. Last time I pleasure, of course, in Valencia was a 1 1 draw. Of course, last season was a bit of a shitter. Uh, that was back in April 2021. In fact, the last three matches, both home and away between these two sides, have ended in draws. Uh, of course, last time, oh, hey, heading into Valencia, four points so far. One on opening day against Getafe, picked up a draw against Granada. Uh, meanwhile, the opposition, Alaves, back to back defeats for them uh, as they look to, as they struggle so far. Alaves down to 19th, Valencia up to 5th. Odds on this one, we have uh, Alaves 20 to 17, sorry, uh, Alaves 60 to 5, long shots 20 to 17 is your host. That's Valencia 5 to 2 is your draw. I'm going to go with a 2 1 win for Valencia on this one. And again, I make a fantastic start for them, and Alaves already in trouble. Valacano uh, take on. Uh, who are they taking on? They are taking on Granada. That's right. That's on August the 29th. Uh, Pleasure of the 14 times 2010. Nine wins for Valacano, two wins for Granada, and three draws. The biggest win for Valacano over uh, Granada was a 3 0 win. The biggest win there was a 2 0 win. Uh, last time around, of course, over in uh, Valacano was a 1 win for Valacano back in uh, December 2017. Uh, of course, so far, it's not a great start for Valacano. Back to back defeats, back to back uh, games without a goal. As for their opposition, Granada, back to back draws for them. Uh, of course, uh, Granada are down to 11th. Valencia is struggling in 20th. Bookies odds on this one. We have a 6 to 4 is your Valacano, 11 to 5 is your 50 to 8 is your Granada on this. I'm going to go with another 0 0 draw. No goal scored still for Valacano in my eyes. And then Mallorca taking on Espanyol. Of course, these two last time around were in uh, uh, the Secundo division. Uh, they played each other 36 times in 1997. Of course, 15 wins apiece, 6 draws. Of course, the biggest win for Mallorca over Espanyol. It's 3 0 win. The biggest win in the other way was a 3 1 win. Last time I played of course, was in La Liga 2. Of course, the Secundo division, whatever you want to call it. It was a 2 1 win for Espanyol in Mallorca. Um, heading into this course, uh, Mallorca opening day. Uh, unbeaten so far. Actually picked up four points of a respectable six. Meanwhile, Espanyol also unbeaten. Back-to-back -back draws, though. Back-to-back nil-nils yet to score a goal. Uh, of course, Mallorca up to fifth. Espanyol down to 13th. Bookies odds on this one. What do we have on this? Uh, all eyes on this on August the 27th. 31 to 20 is your home win. 2-1 two, uh, two to one is your draw. 2-1 to one is your away win. Uh, I believe, I believe, uh, Mallorca are your home fate, your favourites on this, but I've gone with a nil-nil draw. I cannot separate two sides on this one. And then finally, my boys, Real Sociedad taking on, of course, Levante. Let's get into this one on August 20th. Uh, they finish the 20th time, so it's 2004, 8 wins for Sociedad, 10 wins for Levante, 10 draws. The biggest win for Sociedad over Levante was a 4-0 win. The biggest win there was a 3-0 win. Last time I played in Sociedad at the Real Arena, that was a 1-0 win for Sociedad, of course. Uh, that was back in uh, March 2021. Of course, Sociedad opened up with a 4-2 loss against uh, Barcelona. Bounced ba back with a 1-0 win against Vallecano. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Levante, back-to-back -back draws for them. Of course, scoring 4, conceding 4 as well. Uh, Sociedad up to 7th, Levante down to 8th. Bookies odds, 20 to 11 on is your Sociedad home favourite, 60 to 5 is your draws, 92 is your away win, Levante, the underdogs. Going to go with a 2 win for Sociedad to take it to the house. That's right, 2 win for them, and of course, 3 points in the bag. That's my picks. Of course, be sure to get your own picks in using the link. That's right here, cut the 4 slash La Liga 3. That's right, of course, be sure to give the video some love in. Smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe, check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course, Patreon as well. But until then, give us some love in, smash your thumbs up. I'll see you soon after the international break, but until then, we're done. We're done, done.